Hey everyone. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can use JavaScript to find hidden information on a particular web application that will be useful for bug bounty hunters as well as for those who are into cybersecurity and want to learn new stuff and want to learn how you can dive deep into the application. But before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you an awesome way to scan hidden ports and find the network architecture or network uh, infrastructure of a particular application, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now, with that being said, let's get started for this video. Also, for those who are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website, which is bepractical.tech, then go ahead and check it out. As you can see, we have awesome labs. Currently, all the labs are based on account takeovers, wherein you will learn that how hackers actually use the website's misconfiguration to hack anyone's account without uh, even an interaction to the particular victim, right? So all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and on solving uh, one lab, all of these labs, be sure and be assured that all of these labs um, contains a real world scenario which means there is a hacker that have actually used this particular uh, methodology that you will use to uh, solve these labs to hack an actual account actual uh, application right so this is what uh, will benefit you if you try to uh, hack into all of these labs right so go ahead and check it out the link is also in the description and you can just type bpractical.tech and it will just redirect you to our website now with that being said let's get started so for those who are wondering that why we need to find uh, information in the JavaScript, right? So many times what happened is that there's a developer, there are a lot of developers that basically comment something in the JavaScript code, right? So this is one example wherein the comments contain some sensitive information like an API key, like a, a hard coded password and so many things, right? So it is very important for us as a bug bounty hunter or a cyber security researcher to dive deep into JavaScript application. And if you are diving into the JavaScript application, then trust me, you will find something that will eventually be uh, more fruitful for your uh, career and eventually will get you some more bounties, right? So this is why we are going to go into JavaScript. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can automate or how we can use the automated tools, the uh, tools in the market that you can use to find hidden information like secret tokens, secret keys in the JavaScript file, right? So let's get started. So first thing that you need to do is you need to type secret finder in the Google, right? So type secret finder, secret finder, and here it is, this one. So this link is also given in the description. So don't worry about that. So we are going to use this tool to find hidden information of a particular application, right? Just copy this and open your Kali Linux machine and just clone this repository in your machine. So type get clone and just paste this, hit enter. In my case, the secret finder already exist. So therefore it is not going to clone it again. But in your case, it is going to take a few seconds of time, right? Once you have secret finder installed in your machine, what you need to do is you need to choose a target. And first thing that we need to do is extract all the javascript uh, files from that particular target right from the particular website so how we can do this one way is to do all of this manually so just go in the uh, you can say in the view source tab and just see whether there is javascript file or not just type dot js and you will see as you can see there's a lot of js files right so you can just cl randomly click on this and copy this link and just use it right so this way is a lot harder so i'm going to show you uh, an awesome way to extract javascript files from uh the target using one liner command right so what you can do is first you need to type echo so what you can do is first you have to type echo and the target name let's say test php dot com for this example right after that use the pipe we want this output to be given to the another command which is nothing but so first what you need to do is you need to use a tool which is known as katana right which is used to actively look for uh, links in the particular application right it will use to find hidden links hidden links or not it will use to find a url associated url in the particular target right so unlike gau it is an active uh, scanner, right? So it directly scan by visiting the website itself, not by using any third party source like Wayback URL, etc. So what we need to do is when you type katana minus u, 
sorry katana minus u and here lies your target right so the target that i'm going to use over here is test php dot .com. for the sake of demonstration just type it after that what we need to do is we need to type minus j t right so it will scan the javascript file as well once you have the javascript file so if i run this right now you'll see something like this so let me just as you can see there's a lot of links right so inside these links i think there's no javascript files so let's use another target right so i'm going to go with another target let's pick a random target so for the for the sake of demonstration i'm going to use the panic healers.com right i'm just going to type a uh, katana minus u and over here i'm going to paste it right minus jc which is for include the javascript file as well and minus t a2 now it will scan all the links of this particular website, including the JavaScript file. So I'm just going to stop it and let me show you what I mean by that. As you can see over here, we got so many links. So we got PHP extensions link, we got JavaScript links, right? Now we need to filter out the JavaScript files from this particular output, right? So what we can do is we can type this and we can use a pipe. After that, we can use grep, right? Grep is used to extract uh, the uh, unique or a particular string from a set of strings, right? So over here, what you want is, we want to extract all the links that contain .js at the end of it, right? .js and dollar will do this. Once we have this, what we want to do is, we want to duplicate, we want to reduce the duplicate values, right? So for that, we can type unique. This will eliminate any duplicate values that are present in the output. And finally, what we want to do is, we want to sort this. After sorting, what we need, we simply need to save this output to some file. Let's say the file name is test.txt, right? Let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, the process has been completed. If I type ls over here, we'll see that we have a test.txt file. And let's see what are the contents of test.txt. As you can see, the only uh, links that are present over here is the links that containing a JS file, right? Which means we got all of the JavaScript files and all of these files are actually valid. Unlike uh, if you use, if you have used GAU or Vivac URL, then you'll see that some of the links might not work. But in this case, let me just show you that if we go over here, it will also work. So my internet connection is quite slow. That's why, as you can see, the JavaScript file is here and it is valid. Now. What we need to do is we need to pass all of these values to secret finder, right? Before that, let us see what are the syntax of secret finder, like how we can use it. So as you can see, we have uh, minus I for the input, minus O for the output, uh, minus R for the regular expression. We can uh, pass our own regular expression as well, minus headers. So the important thing is minus I for the input, right? So again, I'm going to use bash scripting to show you that how we can use this particular tool to automate our uh, secret finding of JavaScript. Now, as you can see, we have all the JavaScript links present in our test.txt file, right? What we need to do now is to execute the secret finder on each of this link, right? So we can do uh, we can have two ways to do this stuff. The first one is you can write your custom Python program that will do it for you. And the better one and the easier one is to uh, use the bash command, right? So we're going to see how we can use the bash command to do this. So just type cat test.txt. After that, type while read and URL do python3 python3 secret finder and the file name is secretfinder.py right after that what we have we have minus i and over here you need to use this particular thing url dollar url and minus o cli and let's say the file name will be js uh, let's say secret.txt right .txt and after that i'll just type done and let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that. 
So now it is going to iteratively look for each links and uh, using each links it is going to run secret finders, right? And after that, it will store all of the information that it has found in the secret.txt file. So let's see what will be the output of it. As you can see, the scan has been completed now. Let's see what is the output of secret.txt file. Now, if the program has uh, executed successfully, then we should be able to see something in the secret file. Let's type cat secret.txt. Let's hit enter. Now, as you can see, we've got something interesting over here. As you can see, we got the uh, Twilio account SID, right? We got some secret ID over here. Let's go up. Let's see. Okay, we got we didn't got anything else. Uh, we got some possible credential. Maybe the they are using the default password. And uh, there's Heroku API key as you can see over here, right? And uh, his authorization API, so it's false positive. Now the thing is that most of the thing that you may find over here can uh, result in false positive, right? So make sure to test out each of these particular things that are generated by secret finder to confirm whether it is valid or not and if it is valid then go out and report it to the respective bug, bug bounty program right now i hope that you have understood that how we can use this tool to somehow automate the process of finding secret uh, information in javascript files if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to come into doubts or issues in the comment section also for those who wants to stay updated in the latest trends going in cyber security and web development then go ahead and join our telegram channel so the link is displaying over here as well as you can see uh, you can click on the link which is given in the description you will be redirected to our telegram channel right with that being said thanks for watching and keep being awesome